Well, it's been a hot minute, but we're back here in Call of the Wild. And we're going to be checking out Silverage Peaks for some Rocky Mountain Elk. But what I didn't tell you is we're going to be using the M1 Grand. And I'm pretty excited to bust this thing out for the first time in quite a while. Take a look at that new paint job that we put on this thing. So we actually use the... Oh. But it worked quite nice on taking down this pronghorn buck. Nice double lung shot. And a nice little 72. Holy, look at what we just found out here. We have three massive... What? That's a three? Another three. And another three. Those are all level three bucks. But I'll tell you what. We are definitely not passing up that one in the front. And that'll take him down. Another buck. I can't believe how many level threes are out here. But I believe we got one of the bigger of the two. Or I should say one of the bigger of the three. All right, we got blood right here. And we watched him run off this direction but I'm not exactly sure where he went. Yeah, we definitely never would have found that thing because one, he's behind this spruce tree and two, he's right in this brush. But that's gonna be a 219, almost a gold at a level three, 188 yard lung shot there. You can see pretty decent penetration. The M1 Grand is really a very viable rifle. And there we go. We just came across our first herd of Rocky Mountain Elk. We got a really nice bull right out in the front, followed by a couple of smaller young bulls in the back. But I do believe that's going to be the biggest one right there. And I believe we could do it, but it is not going to be easy. It had potential. But I don't know if we got him. Oh. Well, we'll just go for a perfect spine shot on that one and double up while we're at it. Why don't we? Nah, I think we should have hit something solid on that first bull. I really do. It's just that it was so far that it took a long time for the percentage to go down. But I do believe that should have been a good shot. There he is right there. He's a decent level three. Not giant, but decent. And I do believe we may get a shot off right there. That'll take him down. All right. We'll grab our collar, then we'll head over here and grab our bull. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So that means that that could be the bull that we didn't happen to make quite an amazing shot on like I thought we did. So we're going to have to try and call him in and get a follow up. I am curious to see how close we were on making a great shot though. Alright, let's see if we can't get this bull or these bulls to come into range. Alright, so I think they may be a little bit too far out to hear the call at this point because they were roughly 170 yards out. And that was a good five minutes ago. At this point, they're probably somewhere around 250, maybe even 300 yards out. So we'll grab the collar and again, go pick up our bull. Which it may be a little bit difficult to find this thing. Should have been standing somewhere around here. Um, There we go. We got some blood. No organs hit. All right, but here's this bull. This is actually a good bull as well, and we pulled off a heart shot at 292 yards. All right, let's go over here and track down that second buck that we got, as well as getting back on the bull track to see if we can't figure out where he's gonna go. Well, we took the shot on the buck right here, and he's piled up 20 yards away. It's going to be a double lung shot at 130 yards, 203. 
All right, we got bear tracks going this way. And that is the track that we've been looking for. Right there is our bull track. Now, granted, he's not a giant, but he is a real decent bull for a level three. All right, we got tracks here. Blood here. A really nice valley opening to a cannon over. Oh, right there he goes. And that shot looked good to me. Although it's not dropping. Not like it's supposed to, at least. Well, if I would have known that. Well, that's not him. Well, he's down to 25%. Couldn't have been that bad of a shot. Oh. Maybe we got tested. Nonetheless, that should take him down eventually. And according to this hunting pressure here, it looks like it may have taken him down. Yeah, we were holding pretty decent on the front shoulder or spine, but I'm thinking that he was moving a little bit faster than what I was anticipating, and we probably got him further back than what we tried to hit. That's exactly what happened. As a matter of fact, right there, a non-vital hit. So, though it will take him down, it was not quite an ideal shot. All right, we got this bull down right here, and oh, 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 oh. That's what we've been waiting for right there. Well, I guess what we could do is pick him up and ease our way over that ridge. Eventually, we should get to an opening where we can potentially spot him. But let's pick this bull up. I'm really curious where we hit on that first shot. 341, that was a solid bull. Almost goal potential. And 270 yard shot. Yeah, we dropped right below the heart. Got him a lower front leg there. But then the follow up shot. We got spine intestine. Almost pulled off a liver shot there, but we got him. All right, I believe this track here should be from, uh, that's a bear track, Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought, I was hoping that it would be the track from this bull that keeps calling over here, which we've yet to be able to see. And I really wanna know what he is. Honestly, at this point, He's in range to take down with the recurve bow. Alright. Let's put out the collar. And see if we can't get him to come in. There he is, there he is, there he is! Ooh, he's a big bull. He's a real big bull. He's only 50 yards out from us. And he's in that brush. There's a couple bulls coming. Um, we might actually take him open sights. Yes, we're gonna do that. That'll take him down. Holy, there was a lot of elk up in here. A lot of elk. We just hit the absolute jackpot on Rocky Mountain Elk. There was at least four or five bulls in there. And we're right up on top of this ridge here. Oh, there we go. That's where they're feeding at. All right, well, let's pick this zone up and find out how many elk were here. Five of them. We've only seen two or maybe three. Well, I think we've seen three. That means there was two more that who knows? Oh my God, there's a max weight bull track in there. Ooh, that means we're definitely going after that. And it's not this bull either. This was a good bull. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be a gold. 13 yards away. We had to go open sights. And it's going to be a 359 gold. You see, if this track here was fresh, then we'd be good. But it's not. Ooh, but I'll tell you what. That certainly is.
Well, that's a good bull, but it's not the big one. However, I do believe that our big bull could be bedded over there somewhere. Nah, he seems to be alone. All right, well, we're going to go for a shot, though. I mean, he's a decent bull. Let's see, where's his track? Way over there. Yeah, we can't even spot this thing because otherwise we'll lose a track on our big bull. But let's just say he's either a big three or a tiny four. And that should take him down. All right, well, here's this bull down here. Should be a double lung shot. Nah, we only got a single lung. Actually, we're a little bit far forward on that shot there, but a 324 bull. All right, all we gotta do is pick up the track from that max weight bull and we'll be able to know if he's over here or not. Oh my God, there he is. Look at that bull. He's got a minimum estimate of 350. That is a giant. Holy, that's what we've been looking for. He's out there, 215 yards. And I don't think we're gonna get a shot off. Whew. Well, we found him. We certainly found him. And he's right down here. Almost at the bottom of this lake over here. So the good thing is, once we get over there, we should be able to spot him. But they're not going to be drinking or anything at this point, so they really don't have any reason to slow down. And that might make things even more difficult. But at the same time, that actually may bring that bull right back this direction. Oh, man. Yep, it's a mountain lion. Oh my god, there he is. Oh, I think we got him. Holy, look at the bulls taking off. There's another huge bull. Oh my god, look at them all. We definitely got our bull. I saw the percentage going down. We didn't have a ton of time to take that shot, but I think we landed it right on the money. We're going to get over here and try and get a shot off on one of these bulls as well. Because, man, there was quite a few of them. I couldn't actually see... If there was another big one or not, something's taken off way the heck up there. I kind of doubt that's going to be our bull, but you never know. It could be. All right. We got to find the tracks here. Yeah, we got tracks going up this hill. Okay. Way the heck out there. There's one. Where did all the rest of them go? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We found him. Okay, so it looks like a tiny two, a small three, and then a decent three. I thought for sure I saw another big four, but I could be wrong. So for the time being, we're gonna go for a shot on this bull here at about 280 yards out from us. And now he stopped. That bull's way the heck out there. All right, let's get ready. And preferably not a trotting shot. Come on. Oh, now you're gonna slow down. Of course, right behind that tree. Oh, I don't even know how far that was. Hopefully that was good. Oh, wow. It was good. Holy. Or was it good? Is that an intestine hit? Or a single lung? I can't even tell. All right. We'll mark where he's at. Wow, he must have piled up almost right next to us here. And there he is piled up right there. He was actually just on the back side of this brush, which is why we couldn't see him. But that is one massive bull. In fact, it's going to be a 357 gold. And we pulled off a 42-yard trotting double lung shot. Almost got 
a heart shot actually and he's a light gray i thought he'd be bigger than that especially considering the fact that i do believe his estimate uh the lower estimate was 350 all the way up to 440 so i was hoping he'd be a little bigger but still a great great bull all right and here's the bull that we took down which we did exactly make the greatest shot either actually no we did save it 250 yard walking liver and stomach shot so we didn't quite hold far enough on that lead we did drop a good bit but because he was 250 we didn't really drop as much as i was thinking we were going to and just barely nicked the liver on that bull holy we got a bear coming in 180 yards out we got a bear coming in and that thing is not going anywhere in fact i think we might have actually pulled off a heart shot on that first shot it just took a little while for it to kick in um so that's gonna be not quite a hard shot right behind it got that shoulder and hit it solid 177 yards and then the follow-up shot did get lung liver as well as stomach we were up on top of the mountain here and we found yet another track from a max weight bull so we're gonna track this thing down and see where it leads us to now this actually looks like it could be pretty much a dead end because well you can see for miles and there's nothing below so who knows there could be something right below us here oh right there oh my god they're right there 80 yards out from us and that is a giant bull that's the one we're looking for 296 to 380 but this bull's even bigger and he's a level three. Oh, there they are right there both fours Oh, the second one tricked me. First one is definitely going down. But the second one tricked me. All right. We got a wide open spot here. Take your time. Wait for the perfect moment to take the shot. About 315 right there. All right. He's hit. Oh. We'll see what happens. Nonetheless, we got one bull down right here for sure. And all they had to do was cut sideways and we could have had a couple of good shots, but they decided not to. Okay, where's our bull down? Yeah, it looks like we only got one of those three bulls. We did get a big four. And it's going to be a 362 gold, 82 yards away, stomach, liver, and lung, quartering away shot there. So that was a 900 pounder. Uh, I do believe we did get the big one. I thought the other one was a little bit bigger, but this one here was pretty nice. All right, well, let's see where he go. Ooh. It's not a rare, but cool looking turkey. Where is our bull at? Keeps calling, but I can't see him anywhere. Where in the heck is he? Oh, there he is. Down on the bottom of the ridge. Oh, he smoked. Perfect shot. That should take him down. But where's the other bull then? I only saw one. Only one bull, huh? How is that bull not going down? Huh? Can someone please explain it to me? Can't even see him anymore. Couple of cows. Oh, what do we jump up here? Roll them. That's one last mountain line. Nice double lung liver shot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a completely different bull. Oh, there's our big bull. Come on, catch your stupid breath. Oh, you're going to trick me like that, huh? 
Well, we tracked this thing all the way down to the bottom of this ravine here. There he is. That is not our bull. That is. Oh, we hit him. We hit him running through there. No way. Oh, nice. Well, no Oregon hit's not going to help us out too much, but it will help a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, we hit him once. Finally. I don't think that's taking him down. Hold on. Those are tracks from our bull. Are those old? Yeah, those are old tracks. I hear something, that might be our bull. Which, no it's not. Oh my god! Every time we see something and take a shot, we're scaring our bull to another county. Which is not really ideal, to be honest. But what was that? What is this track here? Cow. I want to check out this bear to see what it was. Oh my god, it was a max weight bear. That could have been a freaking diamond. But for now, we really need to find this bull. And I mean really. Got tracks again going across this wide open field here. Turkey down there. There is no way we're not going to be able to see this bull right here somewhere. Look at how good we can see. I mean, we can see for miles. There's a bull. Not the bull, but hey. There is a bull. All right, maybe we can get lucky enough and spot him out here feeding. Another black bear. There's gotta be six bulls out here. That's the biggest one down on the bottom. Hold on. There's our bull. Oh my God, there's our bull. Holy, I can't believe we finally found him. This is it. The final shot on our big bull. We got him right in a tiny little perfect opening right there. He is 350 yards, I'm pretty sure. Let's find out exact. Oh, he's actually 370. He's a good ways out there. But that shot should take him down. And it looks like... Oh, there was a big buck up here too. None of these bulls spooked. In fact, this bull is actually kind of right perfect down the open here. But before we do anything... Ooh. We really got to mark where that bull went down just now. Or we'll... Another bull. All right, we can't mark where that bull went down, but we did spot this bull right here. So we're going to go for a shot on, I think that's the big bull. Oh my God. I wish we could mark again something. Um, all right, we'll just take a screenshot of this here. So I know exactly where that's at. And then we'll be able to mark this spot here. Yeah, because that's the bear track there. Um, yeah, that's him. Oh, now we can only see the back side of him. Come on, get over a little bit more. No, 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 no. Well, at this point, we literally didn't have a choice aside from taking a super difficult shot. Holy, look at all the elk taking out. Oh my God, we smoked him. He's down to 50%. He's going down. He is going down and another good bull there as well. They're just, they're everywhere. In fact, he's piled up right here. All right. It's gonna be a 363 and we hit this thing way too many times. First shot was 380 yards. That's probably why we didn't even come close to making a good shot. Second shot was 21 yards? I don't remember taking a 20. Oh, when he ran past us in, in the top of that hill there. That makes sense. Okay, it didn't really help much. But then we finished it off with a liver shot 
at 370 yards, quartering away. Again, another good bull, but just not quite breaking that 400 mark. We got even more elk here. But we already spotted them. Oh, there's the mule deer. I wanted to find out what it was. Um. Okay, here's the elk. We'll pick up the elk, swing by, and go after that big muley. Right now. 307 and a 387 yard intestine liver shot. But we could hardly even see the front half of his body because it was covered by that tree. So overall, that's a pretty solid shot and a decent bull. All right, now let's get over here and try and potentially spot this big muley down here somewhere. Although that is not going to be an easy task. It's going to be extremely difficult to spot him, but we might get lucky enough to get eyes on him. All right, so we got a wide open canyon down here where I'm pretty sure we should be able to potentially locate. Oh, we got some turkey down there, um, but we should be able to spot that. There's the other bear. Okay, well, that's good. Keep getting interrupted by cool stuff, but not what we're looking for right now. We're trying to find that big buck that called from over here, which I would imagine should be big. But now our black bear. What the heck did we just Fine. Look at that buck. Oh my God. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, I thought he was a five. I thought he was a guaranteed diamond, but still it's a giant buck. And look at how we spotted that thing. I'm telling you, we could barely even, there's no way you'd spot something like that. We just had to be looking at the exact moment at that exact spot to be able to find this monstrous muley. I mean, that's a 310, 315 buck right there. Easily. He's for sure 300 plus. I don't know how the heck we're going to get a shot off, though, unless we could somehow pop over the side here and maybe be able to locate him, but maybe. Oh, he's right there. He's coming right towards us. Okay, we're busting out the recurve bow. And the 600s. Can't tell how far he is, but looks like about eh, about 80 yards out there. Oh my God, right over his back. Right over his back. Wow. That was cool. That was super, super cool. Well, it would have been more cool if we could have hit him, but. All right, we got to figure out how in the heck we're going to get to this buck. What I'm thinking we might end up doing, actually, is working our way down this direction and setting out the collar maybe here to potentially be able to get this big buck to get up off his bed and uh, get out of that brush. Because right now, he's in some super thick brush. All right, so at this point, we're roughly 250 yards out from where they should be bedded there. That means we need to get at least 50 yards closer. And then we'll be able to set out the collar back up and hopefully rhombinos oh is that the big four yeah that's the big four and a decent one there too um but if we saw the caller hopefully we'll be able to get this buck to step out yeah we're for surely in call range of this big buck this is kind of exciting though, because I've never been able to call in a big muley like this late at night. It's always been during the day, and usually when it happens, we don't get a setup like this. It's it's to the point where I'd rather sneak up on them and you know potentially take them down with the bow versus try and call them out, because usually they're not in this much brush. But in this case here, there's no sneaking up on them. It's absolutely not an option so the only thing we can do is try and lure them out of that brush that's it oh okay there they are right there oh my god here they come oh my god no way wait some of them are coming in but some are resting it seems like it brought him out a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, here they come, here they come. I don't know where the big one is yet, but that might be him there. 
Oh yeah, that's definitely him. Holy, is that thing a giant. Look at all these bucks coming out. Good three there. Another good three there. And of course our giant is coming out the back side over here. He's trying to sneak around. I'm not sure if he's going to come out through this opening here or not. But we'll see what happens. We got the collar right down over there. So it's in a great location. Oh my god, that's him. He's finally stepping out. No way. Oh. We've been waiting so long for this moment. Oh, I can barely see him. What do we got coming over here now? Another bull. Look at all the elk. All right, find that buck, find that buck. He's right there. Oh, he's actually in the opening right there. Should have smoked him. Should have smoked him. Don't tell me we didn't smoke him. I mean, if we hit the tree, then that's fine. I don't care if we hit the tree, but just don't tell me we didn't smoke him. All right, we took the shot right through this tree here. Well, we did get a hit, but unfortunately it was not a good one. So we're gonna have to track him down and put a follow-up into him, which is all right. At least we finally got him out of the brush and now we'll be able to get him to a decent spot where we can take a shot here. Um, but where? Okay, there's that bear, there's that. Oh, there's our bear, that's our bear. Well, he's a giant mythical. He is one giant mythical and we'll for surely come back. Although that shot there would be an absolutely perfect shot. All right, this should be the herd that he's in. And there he is right there, 70 yards out. We're gonna go for a shot. Get out of that brush, get out of that brush. And there he lays. There he lays. All right, let's go over there and find out where in the heck we hit on that first shot. Cause I feel like we majorly got robbed on that one, majorly. Not only that, that turned into one heck of a journey. One heck of a journey. That uh, really shouldn't have taken that long. Wow, it really shouldn't have. Well, here he is, our monster muley. Well, let's find out how we did. All right, it's gonna be a 280 gold, which is a giant. I thought he'd be like 310, 315 based off the rack and the stickers, but Whoa, we got a pretty big bug there because yeah, I was aiming nowhere near the neck. In fact, all we could see was the midsection of that buck, basically like from right here to right here. So there's absolutely no reason if we're aiming between here and here, which is all we could see. We would hit way the heck up here and that's definitely some kind of a bug. But then again, it could be the hitbox from that tree, which I was a little bit concerned about. So yeah, that uh, did not work out so good, but it did get us this giant buck in the end. And our follow-up shot did get shoulder, double lung, as well as liver. And that's what brought down this massive buck. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.